Hi everyone. In this lecture, we are going to learn about introduction to cyclic codes. So, a cyclic code is a subclass of linear block code. A n comma k linear code is said to be cyclic if and only if it follows the two properties that are known as linearity property and cyclic shift property. So, before understanding about the linearity property and the cyclic shift property, let us have a look at the example that is given to us. So, here is a linear block code that is given to us. It consisting of four messages or the words that are 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 1 0 1 0 and 1 1 1 1. And what we need to do is we just need to identify that this linear block code is a valid cyclic code or not. And how can we identify this? We will just identify by the help of this two properties that is linearity property and cyclic shift property. So let's find out this. So here is the first property that is linearity property. It has three parts. So according to the first part it says that all zero word is a valid code word. So here is a all zero word that is given to us. According to this property it is a valid code word. That's why we can say that 0000 is also a valid code word. So it satisfies this property. Let's move on to the second part that is the sum of two code words also forms a valid code word. So let's analyze this property by taking this code word and this code word. So here is 0101 0, 1, and this is 1010. 0, 1, 0. If we perform the addition operation onto these two code word, then it comes out to be 1, 1, 1 and 1. So is it present inside this linear block code? Yes, it is present here. So According to this property, the sum of two code word also forms a valid code word and 1111 is present here and it is also a valid code word. So it also satisfies this second part of linearity property. Let us have a look at the third part of the linear property that is the minimum distance between two code word is equals to the minimum Hamming weight between these two code word. So if we find out the mathematical representation of this property then it comes out to be d minimum equals to minimum of w of c where this d minimum is nothing but the minimum distance between two code words and this w represents the Hamming weight or we can say that weight of a code word c and the C representing the code word only. So here is an example of a linear block code that is given to us. And firstly we need to find out the weight of each of these code word. See we will only find out the weight of this code word which are non-zero code words. Since it is a all zero code word that's why we will not find out the weight of this code word. But what do you understand by the term that is weight of a code word? A weight of a code word is nothing but a non-zero element that are present inside a code word. So if we talk about this code word, then here are total number of two non-zero elements that is this and this present inside this code word. That's why we can say that here the weight is equals to two only. Similarly, if we talk about this code word, then here are also two non-zero elements that is 1 and 1. That's why we can say that here the weight is also equals to 2 only. And here are all 1's. That's why we can say that the weight of this code word is equals to 4. Let's find out the distance between these pair of code word. So if we find out the distance between these two code words, then how can we find? We will just check the number of different bits at same similar positions. So if you talk about these two code words, then here is 0 and here is 1. 
so this is dissimilar bits and also here is 0 and here is 1 so there are two differences between the bits that's why it is said to be as a distance equals to 2 now if we calculate the distance between these two code word then here is 0 here is 1 and here is 0 here is 0 here is 1 so it is different here is 1 here is 0 it is also different and here is 0 it is 1 it is also different that's why we can say that the total four position at which these two code were different that's why the value of d or the distance is equals to 4 only let's talk about these two code word so here is 0 and here is 1 here is 0 here is 1 that's why we can say that the distance between these two code word is nothing but equals to 2 because at the two position these two code words differ now if you talk about the minimum of all these distances then it comes out to be only 2 and if you talk about the minimum of all these three weights then it comes out to be 2 and according to this property also it says that the minimum distance between two code word is equals to minimum weight and this is how this property justifies that's why we can say that this linear block code that is given to us follows the linearity property successfully now let us have a look at the second type of property that is cyclic shift property so here is a cyclic shift property it says that the right and the left cyclic shift of a code word is also a valid code word let's talk about the right shifting operation first so here are the bits of the code word that is c1 c2 c3 and c4 and if we want to shift this c1 bit at the position of c4 then what we need to do we just need to right shift all these remaining bits so c2 will be shifted in the right hand side and comes under the position of c1 c3 will be shifted at the position of c2 similarly c4 will be shifted at the position of c3 and now finally c1 will be shifted at the position of c1 so in this way we can perform the right shifting operation let's analyze this by the help of a linear block code that is given to us so we have taken this code word that is 0101 so here is 0101 now if we perform the right shifting operation of this bit then we have to shift this 0 and the 0 will be moved at the position of this one 1 will be right shifted and moved at the position of this 0 and 0 will be moved here and finally we will right shift this one and it comes out to be at this position so let me check it if 1010 10 is also present here yeah it is present here it is in this linear block code that's why we can say that the right shifting property is verified let's verify the second property that is left shifting operation so here are the four bits that are c1 c2 c3 and c4 let's perform the left shifting operation so if you want to shift this c4 bit at the place of c1 then we need to shift all these remaining bit in the left hand side that's how the c1 will be shifted at the position of c2 c2 will be shifted here so it will be c2 and c3 will be shifted here so it will be c3 similarly let's shift this c4 at the position of c1 so here is c4 so that's how we can perform the left shifting operation let's verify this linear block code that is is it following the left shifting property or not so let's talk this code word that is 0101 so here is 0101 and let's shift this 0 in the right hand side so we need to perform the left shifting so 1 will be shifted here at the position of 0 
0 will be shifted at the position of 1 and 1 will be shifted at the position of 0. Finally, 0 will be shifted at the position of this one that is here. Now, let me check if 1010 0, 1, 0 is a valid code word or not. So, yes, it is a valid code word and it is also present inside this linear block code. That is why we can say that it is a valid cyclic code. So, that is how we can easily identify if any linear block code is given to us and if we want to find out that it is a valid cyclic code or not. So, by the help of the linearity property and the cyclic shift property, we can easily determine it. If you like my content, then do subscribe my channel and please hit the like button. Thank you.